How's it going everyone? Matt Robert from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping and today I'm going to be doing a presentation on how to customize the icon bar in QuickBooks. Uh, first thing I want to point out is this about YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, on the lower right um, icon it looks kind of like a gear. You can change these quality settings to 720. It's going to help you a little bit if you're in full screen. It's still not perfect but it's the best that uh, we can do. I'm going to go through a couple things, how to make changes to the icon bar, um, a couple suggestions that I will make for actual icons to put on there, and why to make these changes to the icon bar. So let's pop over to our sample company, Vandalay Industries, and I'll start walking you through this. Uh, the icon bar is up here, and I like to keep many of the defaults up until about online banking. You use these quite often. From here over um, is where I like to customize and get rid of a lot of this stuff and add some that I like to. So if you right click on it, you can hit customize icon bar. You can also just click on this right here. And what you can do is we can get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. Um, the space, basically from online banking, I leave it. And you can get rid of the space before it too. This space we can get rid of. Um, the document center, all these things can be added back. So what I'm going to do is get rid of most of this all the way down. I'm going to leave help. Okay, now we can add a few here that I like. A um, couple that I'd recommend, and you do have to do these one at a time. I like to add backup data. I just think it's a good thing to do quite often. I like to add the calculator in case you don't have one handy. It's nice to have right there. Um, the next one we'll add is the chart of accounts, I think is a good one to have as a quick reference. like to enter bills is a good one. And find, I think that's probably the most important one, find transactions, and I'll go over that one a little more. And lastly, I like to do write checks. Now we can you can see it's it's already up here and you can reorder these pretty easily by grabbing this little diamond and just dragging it. Um, whatever your preference is, it doesn't really matter. If you hit cancel, this is all gonna go away and you have to start over. So just hit OK. Um, at any point you can you know customize it again if you find you're using a certain function quite a bit or you don't like these. Um, and that the reason that we do this is if you happen to be in your checking account or you're at you're running a report and you don't want to go all the way back to the home screen which you can very easily by hitting that but if you happen to be in here and you just have to enter a check really quick it's nice to have it right there you need, you need your calculator um, and the one I was talking about find I think you should get real familiar with using the find function the simple tab will allow you to search by invoice, number, all these various functions. Check, maybe you know the check number or the date range. But I really like to use the advanced feature, um, searching by amount. Because a lot of times it's a very specific amount and you just hit equal to a certain amount and search for it and it pops it right up. So that's just a quick little tutorial for you on customizing the icon bar. Of course, anytime you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to help. Have a good day.